All right, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah. And this is take two. So, um, let's get started. Beautiful day in Chicago, 79 degrees. Hot out. There's the weather. Thank you. So, how's everybody doing? Hopefully, it's good in your neck of the woods. Uh, real quickly, we're going to go over to the photos page because we have a new photo submission amongst all the spam. No, I do not want to buy Russian Bitcoin or um, <laughs> or mail order brides from Chechnya. I get that one. It, this is ridiculous. I have validation on the page, and they still get through. I don't. I don't know. So, um, Phoenix Flow Forty Four has uh, offered up this fantastic cargo ship. Look at that thing. I can see here how this kind of makes the whole, holy crap, that had to be hard. Because not only does it go in, but it comes up. So it, it creates the, uh, the bow of the ship. But that is very, very cool. Thank you for sending that in. And if, if you would like to uh, have your screenshots of your world up on uh, for uh, internet fame just go to my website link is in the description and um, you can upload photo upload and check out other photos and stuff that I've been doing so uh, with that out of the way let's go back to our world as you can tell uh, I'm on a different computer and I'm 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 furious. Um, let's just get let's just get started. Added some detail over here to these logs. Use some uh, slices from the um, circular saw to make them not the same shape until I figure out what kind of tree I want to put in there because I'm lazy. So everything is going to be kind of weird from the normal video settings because. Um, this is actually a development version of 5.1.0 for Mac. Yeah, everything seems to be, appears to be working fine. So, the Lenovo. The Lenovo is working fantastically. However, OBS Studio, after a recent update of the AMD graphics drivers, and after a Windows update, I am back into the Windows is not allowing OBS to write to the graphics driver, which is causing it to hang. And I've whitelisted it. I've started everything as administrator. And guess what? It's not working. I am done with Windows. I've had it. That Windows will not let me record using a program that I installed that I authorized that I explicitly said was administrator rights. It will not let me record. It says, mm, we don't, do you, we don't, do you really want to do this? We don't think so. I've uninstalled, reinstalled everything. I'm done. I've had enough. Um, I don't know how other, how other gamers or other people that do more professional stuff on windows. How did you, how did they actually do it? And I still can't run Linux on it because there's a problem with the BIOS. <sighs> I built this house only to find that 44 minutes of recording was completely gone. So I will, I will do a quick walk through that. However, first we have the towers completed. Yeah. Look at that. Look at them. Their towers. I'm not happy with the roof. All the roof is, is a bunch of, um, it's a different technique by using stair blocks all the way around. And then you come up here and you switch to full blocks and it looks squishy. It doesn't look like, like the other time. It looks squishy. <laughs> and that tower has no meat around the base. I got to go back. I got to, that's my weak point. My towers are my weak point. So I have to reevaluate my my roofing skills on circular um, on circular towers. However, what we're going to do 
So we're going to go ouch. Yes, we are going to go out. We are going to go ouch. I did something wrong here. Fog disabled. There we go. And they like it when I turn on debug mode. So we're going to come up in here. I moved, I moved this wall, um, forward one because I didn't have an even, or I had a, I had an even amount of stairs in here. Take two. I moved this wall in one because I had four bricks here instead of three, which meant that nothing could be centered. And you know how I'm a stickler on, uh, sym symmetry and having everything even and, Three is like the, the magic number. So we come in here. Nothing has changed over here. However, now you, 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 I got a doorway here now. You see this big open cavernous area? That's all going to be done away with. So there's going to be like an entrance room here. And then you have the stairs to go to the upper levels. And then back here, like this wall is probably going to come out like this and create a hallway and then create some smaller rooms off of here. This is not going to be left completely wide open. But by building into a mountain or a hill or underground, it completely lets you do whatever you want and then hide whatever you don't want people to see. So we come over here as the fans on my Mac kick up. But you know what? The Mac just works. So any Apple haters out there, you, you show me how to fix this problem with OBS Studio and AMD on Windows 10. Or, you know what? Please be quiet. Because, I'm sorry, Windows is not playing nice. And they're probably doing it on purpose. Just to me. So there. So we, I, had, I changed the spiral staircase that used to be off of here and look goofy to a vast stairway and hidden tunnel that leads into the, into the residential quarters of the castle. Did all the arches and everything, which makes it look really cool. I want to change that. I want to, I want to create my own. This goes up to the upper chambers of the, uh, uh we've all been here before of the King's Castle up here, and then the other layer, which I'm going to do some more work inside here to make it, to make it more beauteous. And then I opened up, took the doors down, opened this up. This is a, a little, I don't know, entry room. Who knows what it could be used for? It could be used for anything. And this is the other side of the castle. So it looks really cool or awesome. So I don't overuse the word cool. And then, of course, here's the joke bathroom. Made for a king. And it's me. So we have all that. So that has been cleaned up and updated. Now we're going to go back out and take it. I love how this works. So I want to create more of this atmosphere. Come back down here right quickly. And go into... And you know what? This all started when I tried getting DaVinci Resolve running again. Apparently, the new drivers from AMD, the Adrenaline drivers, they're having a problem, and I couldn't get, I could not get uh, DaVinci Resolve running because it has a great audio platform which allows ducking and other uh, things that you can do with the audio interface. Um, for those that don't know ducking is where you have a person talking and they have a music track in the background or some other kind of track and it automatically reduces the the backing track so it allows for voiceover i'm purposely standing here explaining this so i don't show you what i wanted to show you look at that watch this i i cleaned up all this area and to this grand gathering place very nice I might put some gates here or something for added security. So down here goes to the courtyard. And then we have over here, this area here. And it starts out real wide and then it gets narrow as we go up. And this is like the presentation area. Look at this cathedral ceiling. I, I turned off some of the lights up here. So you, you miss out on the detail, but I'm going to be putting a huge chandelier in here. And 
I have to do some kind of supports for the roof. And I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to play with that. But this has all been cleaned up and looking mighty fine. And then this doorway over here. Remember I, I had that thing that it came out <laughs> real high. So this is leading up to the new uh, the bridge and the guard tower. And it works. Yeehaw. I've already been through this. And it feels really weird because whenever you have to re-record a video, you kind of forget what you were already covered and what you didn't cover. So there you have it. There's, there's the cleaned up grounds. I still have to do the gardens and such. Come over here. And play with this. I gotta, I gotta fill this in. Some beds for the guards and stuff, and chairs and such. But this turned out really nice. And would you see this in a medieval castle? Who knows? You know that much. That much stairs. You gotta understand. We are, we are in the side of a mountain. That is really neat. So I'm going to do some things in here which will really get um, get that looking good. Now I have to do the throne room, which is on the other side of the castle. So we're going to come down here to the courtyard real quick. And unfortunately, I'm not building anything in this episode because I've already wasted 45 minutes of time building a house. All, all for nothing. But I'm going to explain what I did. So I, I love walking through this area. This is just cool. And you see, you know, you got all this. And then we, this is the new addition here. And not sure what I'm going to do with this area back here. I could. I have no idea. Oh, I know why that was there. Because. I put um, I put this balcony here. I, I'll show that in a second. So this is really, really nice. And what this was, was a five by five block house. And just by putting a frame around it, around the five by five block box, this was created. So I, I'll show that a little bit more in depth. But so what I did here is added a step for here and these are these are those upside down blocks that I cut in the circular saw. So if you go in the circular saw, there's a multitude of blocks here. That's this one here. So it creates this, you could use this like a corner stair or something like that. You can get real creative with it, but if you turn it upside down, it looks like a post. Or I could have I could have used upside down stairs in here, but these are trap doors that make this real cool uh, railing come up here and then to hide that this thing is going the wrong direction. I just put a barrel there with a, with a planter. It's believable. We come in here. Here is the original. Here's the original five by five. So you have three by three of usable space. So here's the, the fireplace and we have one window. There's, why put windows here? There's nothing to see. Or... <laughs> Or here, there's nothing to see. So, this was the five by five block box, and it's just been adapted. Now I'm gonna put like a table over here and a chair, and you could have like a who knows some kind of merchant over here, and he does his he does his business out here, because this is also for merchants, and you know we have um, sleeping quarters up here, the inn. And we have restaurants and taverns. Downtown area is coming along mighty nicely. Up here, this is a little goofy, but I'm gonna fill, you know, hide all this stuff and fill it in. There's enough room up here for a couple beds and you know, table. They didn't have much in the medieval time. They didn't have like Nintendos or computer setups or studios and and YouTube and D-Tube and all the other fun stuff and gaming is kind of boring if you think about it. You either farmed 
or <laughs> you, you did something. So this area is filling in. I got to add more. So what I did in the last episode it, it, when I recorded this is we have this house here with this cool patio. And then you come, I finished the wall and came up here and I said, well, let's throw a house here and I'll show you how I built it. I built this thing from block one. Um, I'm, I'm upset. So back here is going to be, I'm going to, you know, fan this out a little more, uh, do some stuff with, with this. I hope, I hope I'm not hurting. Um, because these are, they, I, I shouldn't have any compatibility problems. Being that this is a development version compared to the other one. And I, I, I just, I can't get over the amount of, I want cobblestone. Just the amount of aggravation that one has to go through just to do a simple recording. But, you know, on Mac, there's no aggravation. We're going to put a light out here. There we go. So we could see. So basically all this is, is it's a five by five. I want to put a window in here. Where's my windows? There's my windows. Basically what it is, is a, it's a five by five box. And then you do something stupid like that. I wonder if, how that would look. Stupid. So you build off of you build off of this five by five. I can't tell where my cursor is. Getting angry again. There we go. <laughs> We're gonna do that. Oh, I know what I'm missing. I'm missing a slab, the slab that goes across here. So you just build a skeleton around it using using whatever material down there I used stone brick in here I used I used wood columns and then your second floor is going to after you put the upside down stairs and the um the slabs your second floor will come out another block and give you that much more space you could even bring it out even more if you wanted. Now, they that looks kind of cool there. That looks even cooler. But what I want to do here is I want to put um I want to put a flower block. And I love that uh texture. So what we are we're going to do this, going to do this, and bam, bam. Because everything looks better with flowers. And this is going to be a little garden back here. So let's put another one here. I'm going to do a different style flower box in that... Now you see, I I did that. I want to do the same thing with with this to give it now I can't remember what I did. So I did that. Oh, you know what? I wonder how that will look. So what ended up happening is, let's see how this looks. Eh. Not bad, not good. I think the double windows, the double windows don't um, do it. Uh, 
Okay, so then I take this, and I can go here, here, and here to fill that in. And there's a lot of different stuff that we can do, do here. I want to put some uh, shutters over here. That, that makes it look cool. So just by adding a little bit of, just by adding a little bit of uh, stuff here. Now, what do I want to do about this? So on here, I want to take the slab. So I need, I need some soil. This is how I do my, my flower boxes. And we're going to take, so to give it some definition, we have that. And then we need a, we need another flower. And I, I know the audio is going to be, is going to be borked on this because I can hear my laptop in the background just going nuts. So, um, just gonna have to kind of bear with me on working through these little problems here. And look at that, just by, just by adding a little bit of detail, it takes a whole different perspective. So there you have it. And we come back down to this one and you can see, oh, you know what? I didn't add a chimney. Oh, well, we kind of need one. Because, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of this. And we are going to use stone brick. Where's my fire going to be? There's where my fire will be. So we come in here and this is all gotta be changed. <sighs> because do I want that looks good. So that's got to go. That's going to be a murder hole. That's going to go. That's going. And now we need my stone. My stone murder hole. That's cobble. There's a stone. There's here, so this will, you know, it would help if I used, it would help if I used the right block. Now we go up here and we can see, look at that. Looks good. But do I have everything I want here? So for here, what we were going to do real quickly is stone brick. And then I can do, because the fireplace will curve in a little bit, adds a little more detail. That is up. That is looking good. Come in here. And we have a little place, enough, just enough for cooking. And we have a hole here um, for here. And we will end this episode in a moment. I need fire. Fire good. Mongo hate fire. <laughs> Mongo like candy ram. There we go. We have a fire. We have fire. We can't get up to the second floor, though. Not only that. You know what's really dumb is I can't control my mouse here. <laughs> what's really dumb? I'm I am beyond frustrated. I kid you not. I'm just you know it is so fun just 
being able to turn on a computer and just boot up a program and say, okay, let's, uh, let's play something. Let's, let's do something. And then the next thing you know, you, you just, you can't. So again with that, all right, we're going to come up there until I can figure out how I'm going to put stairs in here. We are going to just put, we're just going to put a ladder. So I'm liking this house. I don't mind. I don't mind a uh, ladder. There we go. We come up to the top part. This looks really cool. Or this looks really awesome. It's like awesome, man. And we are going to put those in there to clean up our mess before we say goodbye. That does not go there. Please help. And then for this, there we go. That one's okay. We can leave that because we want the fireplace. We have this here and there you go. That's how, how slowly I build. So we can put some now for here. I could either put in another fire or what I could do is we, we already know that there's a fire in there. We can take a furnace and let's take, um, Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Let's just, let's just take, let's just take this furnace here just to put it in here. And I'm going to, I'm going to block up the sides. I haven't played with the graphics yet. So there we have, we have a furnace in. There we go. So basically what it does, or I could have put a fireplace in here. We already know we have a fireplace and then we're going to put a bed in here. We could put, um, we can put, um, there's a lot of different things that we can do with the layout here, but for the meantime, let's just put these here and this is going to give us a little bit of a, so you don't fall down the stairs. But there's a, there's a lot of different things that one can do with these. And you just have to use your imagination. So for here, it's not what I wanted. That could be easily rectified. I was trying to figure out. There we go. So what this is doing is, is it's just creating some structure and giving and giving some uh some looks what i wanted to do here is i want to put an upside down stair i will i will do that later because it, what what it's going to do is it's going to give It's going to make it look like more realistic here. And there's just a lot of different things that one can do to really, to really make this work. So that's going to do it for this episode because I'm still trying to, still trying to recover from all the crashes. I still have to do a whole bunch of stuff. My server is running good. I finally figured out my chart cert bot issues with uh, renewing my um, certificates when you change operating systems in ubuntu or any linux distribution or any operating system according to according to the certbot and the let's encrypt website the installer is tied to the operating system i guess for security reasons and then what it will do is when you change operating systems, it will not, um, ooh, I wonder how that looks. That looks stupid. 
that answered that question. That, that, that's a nice looking block, but that's not what I want to use it for. Oh my God, that, what is going on here? That's, that's the one I wanted. Because we don't want people burning themselves. There we go. So you have to, you have to delete a file, delete a folder, and rerun your script, and everything works. So I have all my SQL problems with my, with uh, MS with uh, MySQL with MySQL figured out. Um, there was a setting that it had changed in the most recent version. I don't like how this is level here. So that was fixed. So all my all my scripts and everything run, and my SQL statements run. Do that. I'm over here. I did have that. Doesn't matter. So this up here is going to be a little, there's going to be a little garden and flowers. Come down here. There you go. It's a nice looking house. You can do a lot with it along with the other houses. And we'll just take a nice little leisurely walk down here into our little, uh, where it becomes more residential and shopping area. I like that. That is so cool. So now that this area is filling in, it's looking really cool. It's looking really awesome. I might just leave that. I like how that, that's dirt back here. This dirt will turn to, um, this dirt will turn to regular dirt over time or uh, grass. So I'm going to replace that because I like that the dirtiness back there. Everything can't be clean. You know, if if the world was completely clean, then it'd look, it'd look weird. So, thank you very much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll have my video problems taken care of in the next episode so I can get back. But enjoy the 60 frame <laughs> file. Um, because Apple rocks. Sorry. Um, until I can get my, my Linux rig up to the way I want it. Um, yeah, I'm back. Gonna stay on Apple until I figure out that OBS studio issue. And I have, I know what I'm doing. And I had a sweet setup going there to, uh, to the point where you just turn it on and go. But it's real. The, the word, the worst part about it is, is that you don't know it's not recording. That's the, that's the worst problem. When you get done and you're happy with your takes and your clips and you sit there and you turn around and you go, nothing recorded. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, and until next video, goodbye.